Hi Scrubs, hope you're well. So I'm back with Star Stable. We're back to talk with Lisa. I brought Danger Kick with me because Bob didn't trust us. He didn't want to go back to that tree after what happened last time. So Danger Kick uh, didn't volunteer. Mm. Hi Dragasala. Now I truly feel rested after our recent hardships. I'm ready to talk with the Sleeping Widow to be able to repay the debt I have to her after she helped me out of Pandoria. Perhaps you can help me with that. You know that ancient tree better than I do at this point, and I have the feeling that I won't exactly get away with being given an easy task. Yeah, I expect not. How lovely that you want to help me. I'm afraid I'm going to need all of the help I can get. Let's find out what kind of payoff the Sleeping Widow is expecting. I'm curious as to what it could be. Right then. Ready for a little adventure? Nice. Let's see who's going to get the Sleeping Widow, to get to the sleeping widow first. Last one of the primeval tree is a little piggy. Take whatever route you like. Hmm. I'm thinking I'll probably go through the Goldspur Farm and over the north of Greggy Mountain. Starshine, run like the wind. Woohoo! Oh, we're actually going to be racing. I didn't expect that. Come on, Danger Kick! Oh, okay. Okay. Starshine is literally really, really, really kicking our butt. Right. Danger Kick, you have to, like, do a bit better than this. You're. How fast is, is she? Like, really? There's just no way. Okay, I know I'm not in full race gear or anything, but there's just no way. Like, usually, most of them are, like, super slow. She's ridiculously fast. Come on, Danger Kick. We've got to do this. you got to restore your honor. You don't seem remotely bothered. Right. This is going to be the quickest way, but it's not going to catch Alex, that's for sure, and Starshine. They're far too fast for us. Right, let's um, take a cut through here in hopes that we might get there a little bit faster. At the very least. I was hoping that I would just be able to take the trailer. Be able to just jump in the trailer to Gold Spurs and then go the rest of the way. But I didn't, I really did not expect I was going to have to actually race Alex and Starshine to this place at all. Right. We're going to see if we can be um, super sneaky and go down the mountainside. Okay, so far it is working. So far, so far, so far. Okay, maybe not. Uh, right, come on, Danger Kick. We gotta try and do this. Yes, Danger Kick, you absolute champion. That was brilliant, right? Get all the skills for that. Um, I think we slightly went the wrong way. No, we're okay. Okay, okay, Danger Kick. I wasn't losing faith in you. Right, the Sleeping Widow is over the bridge and then down to the left. Still a fair bit to go though. Right. I think we will go up this bit. I think we can do that. It doesn't look too steep. There we go. Right. Sleeping Widow. I'm gonna go around this way this time rather than the other way we went the last day. We're nearly there, Danger Kick. I swear we are. Do I see Alex yet? Not yet. Have we gone the right way? Maybe we need to go further around. Oh! Okay, there's a rock there. Lots of rocks. Oh, wait, I think I see it. Yeah, there it is. There's the sleeping widow. Um, we did it. Oh, we actually beat them. I don't know how, but we did Danger Kick. Go us. Team Danger Kick wins this round. Ah, I'm stuck on it. We're defeated by a rock. Right, let's see what the Sleeping Widow wants. Haha, <laughs> that was fun. You did it, you won! So I guess that means it's me who's a little piggy. Haha, <laughs> but little peas are cute too, right? Okay. 
Is she really still awake? Seems like she's sleeping. Maybe we can just get out of here. She's probably forgotten all about her favors and arrangements. Come on, and we'll head home. It's probably for the best. Hmm. You want to try getting through to her? I suppose that's a good idea. Try talking to her, and we'll see. Yeah, I don't think we should leave like a vengeful tree, to be honest. Z, 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 Z. Creek, creek. Uh, okay. Creek. About time. I wondered where you'd all got to. Doesn't sound pleased. Oh! You're awake after all. Creek, my dear friend. I, I'm as awake as I can be. Firstly, I, I just want to repeat my thanks for helping me out of Pandora as a prison. Without your help and the help of the Starshine and Darasava, I'd never been able to leave. I'm here to repay my debt to you. I'm completely at your service. What could I possibly do to repay um, that which you did for me? Creek, I helped you out of your prison. Now I want you to help me out of mine. That sounds so ominous. My wish is that you help me once again. Become a part of the contact network of the primeval trees, and I'm certain you can help me. Creek. Humans took the lives of my kin with their barbaric deforestation. It's just despicable treatment. I will never forgive them, even though they realize it was a hideous mistake. Traitors, deceitful in soul and nature. Well, well, Creek. It is as if it wasn't enough that I was left alone when the lives of my kin were torn down. I was also disconnected from our network. Because of all this death, the roots that connected me to my kin withered away and died, leaving me isolated from our community. Creek. My roots may as well, may well reach all the way to Pandoria, but they don't reach as far as the next living primeval tree. My companion was a link between me and the next tree, and was therefore my only connection to the network of roots that made it possible for us to communicate. Creek. Creek. I haven't been in touch with my kind for centuries. I thought perhaps you might help in taking care of that Lisa and Dragoslava. Dear Sinsentry, it is truly honoured to receive such a task. Do you have any um, sort of kind of uh, suggestions as to how we might exactly go about it? Creak! Ah, uh, Lisa, I have a suggestion. When Aideen came to the world, she healed the land and spread life over the dead cliffs with her song, her music, and her light. You can ride over the bay and bring my roots back to life so that I may reconnect with the primeval trees at Scarecrow Hill. Uh. Creek. Difficult. No, no, my little friends. Aideen did it, and so can you. Creek. You're not trying to wiggle out of our agreement, are you? You won't disappoint me, like all the other treacherous humans have always done. Of course not. Not all humans are deceitful in their soul and nature. We are definitely not uh, petty traitors, but the legend of Aideen's ancient exploits is exactly that. Just a legend? How do we... Creak! I don't know how you do it. Aideen could. You'll simply have to figure out how she did it. Now it's just a matter of a few rights. Aideen's actually created life. I'm not really asking those kinds of miracles from you. How hard can it be? Creak. Uh, hi? No, it, it can't be that difficult, or... My roots need to reach right across the bay. You can see the primeval tree on Scarecrow Hill from here, so close yet so far away. When my roots reach the other side, I'll be part of the network of primeval trees again. You must help me, Creek. We'll do our absolute best. We promise to do everything in our power to help you. Creek, I know you're capable. Aideen was. I've spoken now. It's up to you to get this done. The time... For talking is over. Creak. Okay. Well, you were like gonna run away like two minutes ago, you know, incur the wrath of a tree. Hmm. Right over water, bring dead roots back to life. How's that going to work? It all sounds pretty tricky. I did it'll work out. I've got no idea how we'll follow through on her request. I suppose we can at least start with a little uh, reconnaissance. Let's get going and see if we can locate the remains of the sawed down primeval tree. I seem to remember seeing a huge tree stump when I've been riding by the beach a little north of here. Let's go and check it out. Right, okay. I was thinking we could get like Pie of the Witch to, I don't know, create tree roots or something. I don't know, maybe we should just get some fiber optic cables and like put them across the bay. Maybe that would work. Um, 
tree stump. Oh wait, there's a tree stump. Over there in the distance. Why are you going that way? It's like over there. It's probably gonna get me lost. Um, wait, I think I still see it. It's down there. This is the stump of the dead primeval tree. So here's where the primeval tree used to stand proudly before it was sawn down centuries ago. Around here is roughly where the Sleeping Widow's Reach reads. We're going to need to make sure the roots grow out over the bay here and right across the beach of Golden Hills Valley on the other side. See? Yeah, I don't know how clear we're going to do that though. Let's ride down to the shore and take a closer look. Right, okay. There's a Ooh, Ooh, danger cack, don't fail me now. Right. Now, what's the furthest point of this? Um, okay, a bit further up. Then. Seashore, okay. Oh, wait! That looks like it. Ah, here's a better view. See, right down there, I can imagine how the roots were pushed outwards. They're a few feet down below the water's surface, but it's here that they reach the, uh, no further. How is this ever going to work? Can't we just pull some strings across the bay and attach a couple of tin cans on either end? Easier to just talk on a tin can phone, right? <laughs> nah, sorry, seriously though, it's pretty obvious we need help. Yeah, unless the roots can like talk across the water or something, I don't know. We need advice. Linda knows loads about primeval trees, and Elizabeth is usually full of wisdom. Linda and Alex are most often to be found in spy duty along the coast. They're keeping a lookout in case dark cores hoods come ashore someplace. Sometimes they're free, though, and in those cases, Linda's almost definitely at the vineyard. I can ride over to Vealdale and talk to Elizabeth. If you go to the vineyard and get Le Linda's advice, if she's even there, that is. Okay? I guess so. Right. I will go and see Linda, then. Hello, Linda. Hey, Dragoslava. So it's you again. Nice to see you. Any news? Oh, you said you're going to do what now? The primeval tree thinks you should copy the exploits of Eadine from the legend. Oh my. When I read about the primeval trees and their fate, I also learned that the Sleeping Widow cut off, was cut off from the network of roots and so can't communicate with the others. I really understand why she'd ask you to do this. It must be awful to be so isolated in that way. But bringing life to dead roots, or even getting her roots to grow across the entire bay, sounds complex to me. That said, those primeval trees are wise. They know things we don't know. Maybe it's possible to do as Eodine did in the legend somehow. You've got the fragment with her light, and we know that the legend claims light can bring life to the dead. I mean, the sleeping widow herself reacted to light, and those tears. Hmm. According to the legend, Eodine had a harp in one hand, and the life-giving light of yours flayed in the other when she rode across the water. The legend says that her music and her light is what brought forth life to Jorvik. Lisa possesses the strong healing power of the Circle of Stars. With Lisa's healing magic, and if you've got the light and the harp, maybe you can actually do something similar to that which Eadine did in the legend. Maybe it's precisely what the primeval tree needs. Maybe it can actually get the roots to grow over the seabed of the bay and reach the other side. Maybe. Maybe you don't literally need to actually ride over the water. Surely you can use a boat. Either way, you'll need the harp, and I know where it is. Oh, I have a text message on, on myself from Lisa. She says she's spoken to Elizabeth, who seems to think that if you play the right melody on Nadine's harp, you can actually ride over the water. Lisa's apparently got all the info about how to learn the melody, which makes it possible. She's on her way in the, the horse trailer. Where, where we are? Oh... All these, all these maybes. It seems as though Aideen's harp is on display at the muse museum at Norvik City. They usually have it on show when they have their historical exhibitions. Hey, by the way, did you know that this is the actual harp that's on Jorvik's flag? The green one on the flag represents the beautiful green island of Jorvik and the luscious and rich life which covers the island. The blue above the green represents heaven and the blue below is the sea. The white lines symbolize timelines from history and for the future. But enough about Jorvik's flag now. Look, here comes Lisa. I didn't expect her to come riding in so quickly. Uh, 
Hey guys, got anything yet? Hey Lisa, we have. I was just saying that however weird it might sound, you might just be able to mimic Aideen's legendary life bringing movements just as the primeval trees seem to want. Dragoslava has the fragment. You, Lisa, have got the healing magic from the Circle of Stars. Elizabeth already told you that you can ride over the water with the help of uh, the melody played on Aideen's harp. If that works, she won't even need to think about cheating with a boat. Amazing! It sounds totally crazy, but it's worth uh, trying in any case. The worst that can happen is that we get a bit wet around the hooves. I'm super doubtful as to whether it'll even work, though. Ah, well. I guess it'll be me playing the harp, then, since I'm pretty uh, well used to string instruments. Dragoslava, you're right with shining the light fragment, you know, since you've used it before and all. It eats fragment, which is with Dragoslava, still loaded with light, so it doesn't need to be recharged. That's good, but back to the harp. Sadly, the museum in Yorvik City is closed for refurbishment. Yeah, typical. I heard that from Elizabeth, but she said the councilman in Silverglade Village is friends with the museum's curator, and you, Dragoslava, you know the councilman pretty well, right? Mm -hmm. Smart! Dragoslava, you ride over to the councilman and ask if he wouldn't uh, mind asking the curator for a favour by opening up the museum and lending us the harp for a while, okay? Hopefully the he's okay with that. Mm -hmm. Then it sounds like we've got a plan, right? We'll meet up again here after you've spoken to the councilman in Silverglade Village. Until then, I'm going to see if I can try to convince the butler to give us a ride to Yorvik City in his car. Right, okay. We will head over to the councilman then. Dragoslav, a wonderful weather. No, almost every day it's this nice. Have you thought about that? Hmm, I... if I know of the museum curator in Yorvik City. I know the museum creator very well indeed. We're on old classmates, him and I. I guarantee he'll let you in and let you borrow anything you need if I put in a good word for you. I'll do that, of course, but in a good word, that is. You can put my good word in the bank. I'll call him right after you leave. You can ride back to your friends and let them know that the curator will absolutely welcome you with open arms. Of that you can be certain. Thank you, Mr. Councilman. That was literally really, really helpful. Fantastic. Now we know uh, that at least we're welcome at the museum. Now it's just a case of getting there. The miserable old fossil doesn't want to take us to the Orvik City, at least not without our parents' permission. Stupidest thing I've ever heard. Godfrey and the Banners owe us a big, pretty big, and I'm not sure they even realize that we're not kids anymore. Can't you try and convince him? I could try. Right, let us take us to Orvik City or Danger Cake will squash you. Hmm, mm, Dragoslava, hello, hello. <laughs> It's rather strange how everybody suddenly wants to go to the big city. You're responsible, lass, with decent judgment, so I rather expect it would be quite fine for you to come along to Yorvik City. That said, it shan't be happening before tomorrow, as it's then that I have business to attend to in town. You shall have to remain patient until then, for a little order. Regulation goes quite the distance, you see. Fine! Did your kick still squish you? Squish! Anyway, scrubs, I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you had a lovely day, and bye bye!